One important thing before I proceed further that I would like to clarify is because for living a life, you have to follow some system or the other. Everybody, even the jungle in jungle, they follow some system or the other, right? And we may call it system, uh, system of jungle, but jungle has a very defined system which the nature, nature has decide, uh, designed itself for our living, for all actions that we do here in this life, we are following some system or the other. We cannot go out of the systems. <clears throat> the question is whose systems are we following right now? So before I be discuss this uh, later in the presentation, I would like to just show you a slide where I'll give you an idea how the systems are developed. Right at the root of the system or, or at the very beginning, even before the root of the system is the ideology or the uh, uh, concept of life that a nation has. Right? That's, that's at the very, very basic, the first lens through which you develop your beliefs or assumptions. Beliefs, if you are following a religion or a, a, a creator scribed book, you have belief, you have edicts of those books, right? But if you don't have, you don't have such belief or such ideology, then we develop our own assumptions. That's what the West has done since it refuted its religion very long back. All its theories are developed on assumptions. For details, inshallah, we'll let us wait for a while before we go into discussions into what assumptions our beliefs are. <clears throat> and only our assumptions and belief give us definitions to all the things around us, physical or metaphysical. Then theories are at the base of systems, right? Systems are developed on the theories that we developed around our assumptions and belief, which we extract from ideology, from our ideology. So when we talk of system, if we go on assumptions, and assumptions is called as Zan in, uh, in the Quran, if you follow the assumptions, assumptions has no roots, right? That has no uh, backing of uh, the uh, facts which we get from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance or the creator's guidance. So you can imagine if there's um, we go on assumptions which are definitely, which can never be, assumptions cannot be correct. Very, very little chance of assumption being correct. So if we go after assumptions, we'll develop faulty theories and the resultant will be defective systems. And this just I wanted to give you an idea how the systems are developed. The important aspect for us to realize is that West has developed all is its theories and systems upon their own assumptions, upon their own secular assumptions, since they have not considered the creator as an entity to guide us. The important thing for us to realize is, can those systems give us a correct guidance? Can we follow the systems? Or if we follow the systems, whose deen we will we be living in? Because deen is your belief and practices. So if we follow the systems which are based on assumptions, the secular assumptions, we have got to question ourselves whether we are following the correct deen. Inshallah, we'll discuss on this as well a little later. Here you can see a tree, okay? A tree has two parts, one below the ground and the one above. Below the ground are the roots and above is the stem branches, leaves, and the fruit. 
important thing to realize is roots govern the fruits and not the vice versa fruits do not govern the roots but it's roots which govern the fruit and even before the root we have the seed at the seed level is our ideology and then we when we give definitions using our ideology or theories they are at the root level and out of that the system is grown now i'll put a very simple question to you if this tree is an apple tree can it grow mangoes if we take an apple tree and we desire that this tree should also grow mangoes is it possible now i leave it on you to decide this we go a little deeper into how the systems are developed i am sure sure you will appreciate this uh, diagram it's very interesting at the very basic level we have seed which is a nation's philosophy or a people's philosophy right and uh, actually that philosophy gives you two things that philosophy gives you the goals for this life or the goals of the system and it gives you definitions of what the world really is is there a creator what is the nature of the creator what is the nature of the created what is the objective of life all these basic questions are actually defined by a nation's philosophy and through these definitions we develop aims and objectives of the system how are we going to achieve the goals right and then we have to define ways to achieve our goals which is the curriculum right the curriculum of the life okay and then we devise uh, practical ways or interventional methodologies to achieve our goals that is very important so the whole thing there are steps four five steps finally we reach uh, we uh, finally we reap our goals okay the seed is at the very very basic level okay then we have different levels and we go up and the whole 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 system is based on your ideology how you look at this life okay now for us our very basic seed level is tawhid and our end result should be to achieve a creator's beauty to create to design a creator's beauty who can play his role as per the commands of his creator very important thing if you see at the roots level where we have definition they are the filters only the concepts which are relevant to these definitions will go up the other concepts will be discarded inshallah we'll discuss into it further when we are discussing about the perception so this is a general idea to give in a uh, general uh, diagram to give an idea of how the systems are uh, basically developed 